Hi everyone, it's Dave here from Geeky Bricks and welcome to week 11 of building my Bricklink room. So hopefully from last week you would have seen that we were very much nearing the finishing line and I am pleased to say we are very, very close to that finishing line now. We're not 100% complete, but boy has there been more progress um, over the course of the last weekend. So it's actually getting dark here in the UK at the time that I'm recording this video. So we're not going to see much of the outside, but to be honest, the outside hasn't really changed since last time. A bit more paint on it. A bit more filling, etc., um, and sealing just to make sure it is 100% watertight. But obviously, the main progress has been inside the um, Lego room. So let's take a walk up there, have a look, see what the light's like um, in the dark on this camera. Um, but more importantly, let's take a quick look inside and show you what the progress has been. Okay, so here we are outside, and like I said, it is starting to get dark um, out here now. And uh, my Pokemon Go has just started flashing at me. Um, but yeah, there is the outside, so not a great deal of difference. We've got the security light there um, on the exterior, and as you can see, it works. So just come on now as I approach. Um, now we get to look at the front there, so you will see that one of the things that hasn't changed is there is still no um, handle stroke locks, etc., on the doors. Um, but clearly, what has happened. Um, is all the paint and the doors have been finished etc and on the inside but one of the final things now is to get all the, the locks fitted um, handles and a alarm fitted um, you might also notice that this shed has been painted too um, to fit in with this one which is a quite nice anyway but um, yeah let's take a look inside um, and show the progress okay so here we are inside the room and I've got to be careful what I touch because there is a lot of wet paint in here as the final coats of paint are applied but one of the things to point out, not the ladder, um, is the floor. You see we have now got a floor in the Lego room. So let me know what you think um, as to the floor I chose. You will also see we have got the skirting board, as you can see then, which has been fitted on top um, of the flooring. Um, so that's all been done and it has been painted. Um, another coat of paint to go on that yet. And here as we just... Uh, Take a look around there, you can see the doors. Again, take a look around. You can see it really has come together. Um, as I head over into this corner, um, it's difficult to see if you can get an idea of the size of this room, like the scale of this room, but it is a decent size. It's not the biggest, but it's by far not the smallest. Um, and hopefully we'll be going to be able to fit a lot of my Lego in here. Um, I think I might say at the very beginning, this end of the room is going to be my Bricklink store. Uh, and then as I walk up to this end and pan back down to that end, that end is going to be where my Lego city is going to start to be built. Um, which I'm really excited about. I'm excited about getting everything in this room. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think with regards to what is pretty much now the final product. There's not a great deal more here to be done on the inside, some, another counter paint. That's pretty much it. Flooring's done, skirting's done, electric's done. Handles on the doors, alarm to be fitted. But that is pretty much it. I'm hoping this next weekend coming, we can start actually moving in to this room and get in some Lego in here. And then we will start to um, put together the series of building my Lego city. One final look around. Let me know what you think of the floor. And there we go. Okay, everyone, so that is it for week 11 of building my Lego room, which I'm standing inside now. Um, feeling extremely pleased and proud of what we've achieved um, for this room. And really excited, like I said, to actually finally start to move some Lego into the room. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and indeed the series. And if you have, please thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button just to show me that you have enjoyed this and appreciated it. Comments, questions, feedback, as always, down in the comment section. I do make a point of uh, endeavouring to reply to every single comment. The way I look at it is if you take time to make a comment, I should take time to actually reply to those comments. Um, and I do, do enjoy reading all those comments. If you haven't subscribed to, well, this will be on both my channels, Geeky Bricks or the Web channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, on both if you want to have a look at the other channel. Link down in the description 
um, to the other channel, whichever channel you're watching this on. Um, but clearly my main channel is Geeky Bricks and that is going to be where the Build and Wild Lego City series is going to be published on Geeky Bricks YouTube channel. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for all your support and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye for now. Cheers everyone. See you later.